Yeah, it was a very somber day at Steelers practice. When I walked up to the facility, there was a fan in a Franco Harris jersey, and he was hanging a banner with Harris on it. Now, obviously, this is just two days before the team was planning on honoring him in the 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception. We had a chance to talk with head coach Mike Tomlin after practice, and he talked about what it meant to lose just such a tremendous person and a Steelers legend. This organization, this community, uh, the football world, uh, we lost a, a great one in Franco Harris. And so um, obviously we're all heartbroken, um, but we, um, we do look forward to honoring him um, and his legacy this weekend. And, and obviously um, where our attention needs to be is on the preparation required to put together the type of performance uh, that's fitting of, of a great man like Franco. I'm an advocate of giving people uh, their flowers while they're here. And I meant what I said yesterday. Um, you know, I just admire and love the man. Um, and so much to be learned from him in terms of how he conducted himself, how he embraced the responsibilities of being Franco um, for Steel Nation, for this community, um, you know, for the Penn State uh, followers. Um, he embraced it all and, and did it with such grace and class and, and patience uh, and time for people. Now, while none of the players played on the team with Franco here, he did still feel like a teammate for those currently in the black and gold. And one of those is Pat Fryermuth. If you guys remember, Harris actually announced that Fryermuth was going to be a Pittsburgh Steeler during the 2021 NFL Draft. So we are going to hear from him coming up at five. But for now, live from UPMC Rooney Sports Complex, I'm Emily John Greco for Pittsburgh's Action Sports. <laughs>